Hello and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I have another homeschool planning session with you today. And we are really just getting towards the end of our year. I think we have like exactly 30 days left of counting, but it's April something, April 20th, something like that. And we won't finish in May. So we are actually going to be taking about a two-week break at the end of May. And then because we school year-round, when we get back from our trip, we will be coming back in and finishing up our fourth grade year. And so I find this is a really perfect time to, one, streamline everything and start trying out a few things, um, samples, things like that, that you might find online for items that you are interested in for next year. And that is something that I'm working on. And, you know, we've already found a few things that we want to use next year. And because we school year round, I just go ahead and bring them in if I don't already have that need met, which with IEW is that scenario. So we went ahead and started that this year. And so we'll just continue that on. But let's go ahead and look at what I have set up. Now, this is my, let's see, how many weeks have I done this? So this is my third week with this setup right here, and I love it. I really, really do. And the only issue with me loving this so much is that I am planning to get like the minimalist, minimalist version of um, our school nest planner here. So she's come out with one that is just like weekly planning. So you can really customize it to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be specifically homeschool. So that's my plan is I'm gonna use that. But I don't have one of these overviews at the very beginning of every lesson or every week. And so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do and how to use this, but I am loving this setup, absolutely. Um, I am still continuing the process of kind of putting priorities in order. So I want these things done prior to lunch or at least happening right after lunch. And most of the time it's prior to lunch, but let's get in a little bit closer and see exactly what we're looking at this week. So first I have up here, April week 36. I don't count weeks, like that's not part of our regulations. We count days. And so we have a number of days, but I do like to see what week we're on. Just one, it just kind of finishes that piece out. And I think it looks pretty. So dimensions, that is first. And let me tell you guys, dimensions is going beautifully right now. She, one, loves, loves, loves decimals. And she, two weeks in a row, she has asked to do more than one lesson in a day. That's never happened before. Like, I don't think she's ever asked to do that. But she did last week and she did again today. So that's why you see two check marks, even though I'm recording this on Monday. So I, I don't know. And as a reward, I actually, like on her chore chart, I took off one of her extra chores. Because I'm like, if you're going to have a super good attitude, and if you're going to do two deals of math in one day willingly, I'm going to reward that behavior. I think that's sensational. And it just makes the day so good. Um, something else, I don't know if you've been noticing, but we've been adding basketball in a lot. And we are doing that midway through our morning. So she's getting out. She's getting really physical. And I don't know if that's kind of like opening up that brain or whatever, but I don't know what the connection is, but I'm loving it. So I originally had four down here, even though I don't know if we'll actually do four days this week. This is one of our every other weeks where we may only do three days of school. Um, so I went ahead and I put our four lessons down. She put two down. So you know what? We should probably finish our dimensions. Writing. So this week we're doing just something a little bit different. We have been doing IEW every week, but this last one was our first one where we were dealing with two paragraphs. So she had to do two keyword outlines, right? Two paragraphs. So it was just a little bit of a bigger week than we're used to with IEW and it has taken more than our standard two weeks. So on Monday, she began typing up her final draft and I only had her type up the one paragraph today. Tomorrow, she will type up paragraph two and then we will move over into some more of our writing assignments here. So this week, I have brought back our sentence construction. If you've been around very long, you have probably seen this. This is from the Stellar Teacher Company that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. I also have a video on finding things for Teachers Pay Teachers that I'll put right here in case you're interested in it. 
Now, I would use caution on finding a lot of stuff here at the end of the year. Try to limit yourself so that you don't feel overwhelmed, but definitely check that out if this is something that you're looking at for next year. Maybe you could even find a free sample. Um, I just want to say that we are, wow, like look at this sentence here. So we have a few misspellings that I need to fix, but she did this and then this sentence is just so much, it's more robust than anything she's done in this so far. And I don't know if that's thanks to IEW, if it's thanks to, I don't know, just our age, but she has, Kevin was watching a soccer game on the TV. Then Mark comes in with a soccer ball and asks if Kevin wants to play. Then Kevin gets so excited, his jaw drops. Again, there are some technicality things, punctuation things that we need to fix in there, but just the beefiness of the sentence, I'm very, very pleased with that. And so we'll go over that a little bit tomorrow as far as our spelling, things like that. But really this is building sentences, making a more robust sentence. That is the point of this for me. Um, so I'm very, very pleased with that. So we brought that back in this week because we've been focusing more on IEW. So that will be a three to four day process with our sentence construction. And then we will do a because, but so. Now I may tie that in with another subject that you see down here, or I may tie that in with a writing prompt right here. Right by Number on their Instagram has been putting little things on their stories for like a writing prompt. And one of the things was, which is your favorite color? And it had a whole bunch of lists and then you would answer why. And so what I think I will have her do is answer that, but do it in a because, but so sort of thing. My favorite color is teal because, and then tie something in with the but and tie something in with the so. That's my idea for that. And then I may tie this in with our chicken study that we will be doing down in our science. Moving up to our history and geography, we are still continuing with the American Revolution. We're having so much fun with our history pockets. Today we did our Paul Revere history pockets as well as read out of our spine. Things that I would like to do this week is the George Washington pocket and possibly the soldier life pocket and choosing sides pocket. We'll see how much history we end up doing this week because it didn't. Because again, as I mentioned, we may really only be having three full days of school this week. Um, we'll just see. So if we get four in, then I think we can get some of this. If not, that'll roll over to the next week. Either way, I've got it ready to go if I need it. Then moving on, we are doing our 50 states where we do Lesson 25, Virginia. Lesson 26 is our song and story about Virginia. Something I have changed with this is instead of me reading this to her, she is reading it to me now. And then she is asking me questions and I'm asking her. So we've kind of reversed roles. One is a really, really good way for her to continue to get more reading practice, reading aloud, and is it going to hold in comprehension better if she's reading it herself? But either way, that's what we're doing. It's working really, really well. And the very last thing that I have for our history and geography is we will do state history this week. I usually only set aside one day to do that because we just do a little bit of reading. Moving over into our science, we are continuing with our lovely little plant study, and we need to finish our diorama from last week. So it ended up, we kind of dove a little bit deeper into that with some of our studies. We looked at the different biomes and she really was very interested in doing the hands-on coloring in the diorama that day. So I let it go. We just are going to take more time. We had a fun time with our lab with that. And so we will finish up our diorama. And because I want to hit some more science this week, I'm going to go ahead and pull in my unusual plant study that I have pulled back here. So whether that's going to be like the Venus flytrap or some other really cool plant, we're going to look something up about an unusual plant. We're going to watch a video on it. And then that is where I'm going to tie in a because but so. I've had this on the list for a couple of weeks. I really do want to do it and so this is a great week to do that something I'm also going to do is we are studying chickens and this week I actually want to do a little bit of notebooking and a little diagram with that and again that's another good way to kind of practice some of our skills as far as the rest of our language arts here we have our fix it grammar which just rolls along with four days a week this one will be a really easy one even on that fourth day if we don't school a full four days i will go ahead and have her do that fourth day somewhere 
through the weekend so that it gets done. We will do three days of word roots and we are trying phonetic zoo. So this is where I'm talking about where I'm tying in some of the things that I'm thinking about using for next year. You can actually find a free lesson on IEW if you'll get on there, check it out. I can't always find it. So just go on there, type in like try a free sample of Phonetic Zoo if you're interested in it. This is recommended for I think third grade at the very, very minimum. And so that is why I haven't ever jumped onto it at this point and I'm just unsure about it. So we are trying lesson one, seeing what she thinks about it. We will definitely finish level three of All About Spelling because I do like the rules, but I'm debating moving over into this for next year, and so that's why we're just gonna try it a little bit. As far as what we are reading, for our read aloud, we are still reading The Phantom Tollbooth. She is really enjoying the book. And then as far as an independent read, she just started Frendel this morning. I actually found this at a consignment store this weekend with along with some other books, and I was really excited with that, and that's the one that she chose. As far as our daily checklist, which again, I find this portion really, really handy. I like having it spread out like this. I don't know, this flows with me so, so well. So we have Bible, piano, violin, basketball, typing, multiplication, life skills, and cursive. I am gonna go ahead and mark typing. So even though we did not do typing today, as far as like our actual typing program, she was working on typing up her final draft. And so that is typing practice. And that is good to go with that practice. She also decided to do two pages of cursive today also. Over here on my far side, this is where I just highlight some of those fun little holidays that I have in one of my principles. And so today is Earth Day, tomorrow is Picnic Day, and then Friday is Pretzel Day. She loves pretzels, so I need to see about getting some soft pretzels for her as a special treat on Friday. As far as the inside of my weekly goes, this is how I have it set up again. I don't know, this is just really, really pleasant for me to look at. I do need to go ahead and put right here that, um, let's see. Oh man, and I didn't put it in the same print that I did all the rest of the today, but that's okay. So we have, she typed up her paragraph one of IEW. I think I totally forgot to also put basketball. She did basketball today. And I know she's done an instrument. I believe that was violin earlier. I need to double check that, but I'm gonna go ahead and write both because she has to do these sometime today. So I'm just gonna mark those down. I think that is everything that we did today. Now we actually did a lot and it always just looks so small when you think about like how much we really did here, but you know what, it's fine. It doesn't have to be super detailed. This tells me what we did and that is our setup for the week. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below for me and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.